What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here. Invisible. No, actually, I'm just behind the camera. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, recently remade, remodeled the game room, as you can see and as you've seen in some of the previous videos. So, one thing I wanted to switch up in this room is the posters, the poster layout. Um, and rather than just put up the new posters I got, or the ones that I've had for a while that just haven't been up, I want you guys to help me decide. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the space available, and then I'm going to show you all the posters I have available, and we're going to vote in the comments below. I have room for quite a few posters, but I want to get your feedback on which ones you'd like to see. Let's look at the available space. As you can see, this is the main view that you get whenever I do my pickup videos now and some of my other videos. Uh, Gone is the Samurai X poster. It's actually, this is all, these are all the posters I just took down. Uh, so the Watchmen poster from forever ago is gone too. Uh, some posters remain like Parappa the Rapper and Mario Kart 8. Gone are the anime posters, the Evangelion, Berserk, uh, Princess Mononoke, and Spirited Away, which was behind that stack. Also, what is staying the same is the Pokemon poster that I have from KB Toy Works back in the day. Uh, also, since I just put those up, the Chrono Trigger and the Skyrim poster, that's going to stay, as well as the Spider-Man one that we just put up. And I'm not going to switch these three around, which you've barely seen because it was covered up by a lot of stuff, just because um, they're really low to, towards the bed, so I don't want to put something there that I'm going to regret, because as we can see, we've already had a little mishap with the Pokemon Stadium 2 poster, got a little torn. Those, po those posters, I figure should be ones that I'm just not gonna worry about. If they do get torn, they get torn, whatever. Also, we took down the Full Metal Alchemist poster. And like I said before, the Watchmen poster is gone. So we've got quite a bit of space to fill. And also, I do have a space, uh, not very visible since it's behind the door, but right above the Super Nintendo games that I have, I, have, I do have space for maybe a smaller poster. So I'll be using that space too. So that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight spots for posters. Let's get into this. Okay guys, I'm going to have a counter around here for the number of posters. So just leave a comment below with what number it is. Um, just because there are some posters that are from the same series and it can get confusing. Um, using some paperweights Casual NES Top Loader Paperweight, Walking Dead Trivia Game, Loot Crate, Arcade Block. So, without further ado, poster number one, Skies of Arcadia Legends. I have not played this game, but I think this poster looks really cool. And I will eventually come across those games, and maybe in the future I'll get a chance to play them. So that's poster one. Poster 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is based on the 2002 series, I believe, or the 2003 series, I can't remember what year. Uh, they came out with some games for the PlayStation 2 GameCube, but I don't think those games are very good. However, the TV series was actually pretty cool. That's poster 2. Poster number 3, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. Got some interesting things going on here. We got Ken, DJ, Cami, E Honda, T Hawk, and Dalsum. Interesting is the lack of Ryu, but I'm okay with that. So that's poster three. Mario Party 3, a classic. It's poster four. Yu Yu Hakusho. Ghost Files Spirit Detective. Now, I've never played this game. I do own it. Um, I randomly got it at a at Kineticon like six years ago or five years ago or something like um, I don't know. I really like the show. I made it about halfway through it, I think. 
And I've lost count of what number it is, but I'll have the counter right here for these so you can build on them. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I will eventually be doing some kind of series where I talk about the games from my past and the stories that happened alongside them. And Crystal Chronicles will probably be one of those eventually. Ah, non-gaming one. This is Dinobot from Beast Wars, one of my favorite cartoons, I guess, to watch growing up. It's actually signed by the person who made it. I do not remember who drew this, though. Got this at Kineticon. Dinobot was definitely the coolest character from that show, so I really needed this poster. I had this back when I lived in New Britain. Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. This is a cool poster. I have not played anything other than Fire Emblem Awakening. Some generic uh, Nintendo posters. We got the one Now You're Playing With Power, some games, and of course, Rob. And another Nintendo Now You're Playing With Power. This one's a little bit more basic. It's breaking through shattered glass, I guess. Here's one for Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is a really cool poster. Bully. One of my favorite Rockstar games, right behind Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Definitely a lot of fun. Not really sure why I stopped playing it. I think I was just kind of... It took a little bit longer than the Grand Theft Auto games for me to just get to the point where all I do is dick around. But that's basically what ended up happening. I just dicked around in the game. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 3. Definitely a game that changed open world gaming for the better, I believe. Alright, now the reason I need all these paperweights, let's switch angles for each poster here. This is part of the Smash Brothers set from Club Nintendo. Uh, we got Palutena, Pit, and Link. Kind of an odd couple with Link being there. And here's the problem. Uh, they're gonna fold up on me because they've been in that tube forever. Well, oh, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> we have the next one, which has the villager, Link. Link's in all these, isn't he? Uh, and Mario along with Kirby in the background. Trying to get that smash ball. Here's one, this is almost a Mario Galaxy poster, to be honest, but you got Wii Fit Trainer and Fox McCloud sticking their nose into it. Also you got Rosalina and Luma and Mario, of course. No, nope, my paperweight plan failed. We have the Year of Luigi poster. Alright, this is a fucking train wreck. We have a Pikmin 3 poster that was from Club Nintendo. We have a Club Nintendo poster for Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD pretty cool. Can't pick it up. Right, back to some normalcy here. This is a poster I had up for a little while in my room, but maybe it'll make a reappearance. Uh, it's the Pokemon X, Pokemon Y GameStop poster with Xerneas and Eveltal. I also had the other side, but I'm not putting that back up. It's just a map of Kalos. Fuck that. Next up, we have a classic Donkey Kong poster from Club Nintendo. This one's really cool. I love the finish on this. This is this these this poster set that you're about to see is actually one of the reasons that I never put them up. The Club Nintendo posters, that is, because I thought these were so nice that I wanted to get them framed, and then I saw how expensive frames were, so that never happened. But I'll put them up without frames now. Then you got a basic Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong poster. Oh, that was actually the last one. Here's the other one. And finally, we have Donkey Kong's History. Donkey Kong in the arcade. 
Donkey Kong on the NES, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong Country, 64, Jungle Beat. I would have left Jungle Beat off that. Who gives a fuck about Jungle Beat? And of course, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Definitely a cool poster. So as I said before, let me know in the comments below. Vote with one of the numbers or a few of the numbers because I'm going to need about seven posters to put up. And I'll probably just make an arbitrary deadline for this in my head uh, for when I'm sick of looking at these bare walls. So like, comment below, obviously, with what poster you think I should put up. You could vote for a few of them too, I don't mind. This is very informal. Also, be sure to subscribe. We have a 700 subscriber contest coming up soon. Going to be giving away an NES top loader because I'm just smothered in them at this point. As always, keep it real, internet.